So this is going to be step one of the collimation procedure of this RC8 telescope. So what I've got here is a, in my case it's a Howie Glatter laser collimator with the fine beam it's emitting out the front. I suppose you could use any other collimator you like for this particular step but I'm using the Howie Glatter one because it's extremely accurate and what we're going to try to do, or what we're going to do in this in this step, is to collimate this focuser so that it is square with the scope. And the way we do that is by adjusting this collimation ring that you don't actually get as part of the scope of standard. We're going to adjust the screws on here to get this perfectly aligned with the secondary mirror. So, there you can see the beam reflected off of the secondary mirror and it's being aimed at the centre spot which is just, I'm just trying to find this on, on here, the centre spot reflection is just there at the tip of my finger, can you see? Just there, that is the centre spot that we're trying to get the beam to be perfectly centred on that center spot. If it's not centered on that spot precisely then what we're going to do again is adjust these screws on the collimation ring, focus collimation ring to get this perfectly aligned with that center spot. That is step one. We're not going to fiddle with the secondary mirror at all. We're not going to fiddle with the primary mirror at all. All we want to do is to get that spot there bang on the center of that spot, bang on the center of that uh, of that uh, mark on the secondary. Now what I found even with a very accurate collimation ring like this is you can, if you twist it, you can still get a little bit of wobble in here so I, the way that I do this is I don't tighten this, these up too tight they just want to slightly pinch so that you can still turn this round and when you turn this round, you want to be happy that the, the spot there, which again, you can see there, that spot does not move on that centre spot of the secondary. Once you've done that, we've completed phase one. Also, we want to ensure that when we rack the focuser out or in, we still remain on that center spot. Now you may find that it does move a fraction, a tiny tiny bit from the dead center when you actually rack that focuser in and out. To be honest with you I won't worry about that too much as long as it stays as far inside that center spot as possible. Another thing that you can tend to get sometimes is that when this comes all the way out you can get just a slight little drop in this. It's, it's only very, very slight, but it's enough to throw the beam off of that center spot. So my advice is don't adjust this collimation ring with the focuser all the way out. Likewise, don't adjust that ring with it all the way in either. Do it in these sort of positions in the middle, or most definitely do it in the position where you do most of your imaging the focus it position the, the way you would where you normally tend to be. So just to recap, <clears throat> all we're doing on this particular phase or this step of the collimation is to collimate this focuser with respect to the center dot that's marked on this. That's all we're doing. We're not touching the secondary, we're not touching the primary. That's all we're doing. Okay, that's step number one complete. Hope you found that useful. Let's move on to step two.